Hello and uh, good afternoon to you. I'm Neil Pinkett, the proprietor of Bath Cars, and today's car is the Renault Grand Scenic. This is the 1.6 uh, dynamic model in uh, a metallic, I think. Is it a metallic? It's a metallic, it's a metallic black. Uh, it's the seven seater version with the rear seats folded down at the moment. Uh, power steering, 67,000 miles or so on the car. Uh, MOT is until uh, November 2013. Uh, there is a decent splash of tax to go with it as well, which is the 31st of the 12th, 13. And I've done a pre-MOT in the uh, MOT workshop there, and uh, it all seems like it will pass okay. So I can offer the car with a brand new MOT, or just have a little bit of discount and have it with uh, just the remaining amount on it. Um, it's been, it's come from Dudley, and it came down from Dudley to Bath uh, on Sunday afternoon, where a deal was done on a Passat, and then it came back again and was part exchanged in. Uh, there are a few minor scratches around it, there's a little one on the boot, nothing special, uh, but this side's got uh, a little skirmish just here which actually probably polish out quite a bit and there is a relatively deep scratch running across the paint in the back there, but um, you know it's old enough to get away with it really now. Uh, it's had a good decent amount of money spent on it including rear uh, discs and pad service as well. It's got the electronic handbrake, that's all working fine now, uh, washers, wipers, lights front fogs, actually I haven't tried the front fogs on it, but uh, I whizzed it up and down the road, a little 1616 valve, it's not the fastest of things, but uh, should be relatively economic still. It's got tinted glass in the rear also, and it has a rear wiper. Uh, the car is pre-preparation, it's just come in, I've been through it in the workshop for the last hour, just making sure everything's alright. Um, the rear seats are under the back here, doesn't look like they've been up very often, but they're in the back there. And there has been a dog in the back, it's left some some hairs. Although the interior actually is not smelly and uh, doesn't stink of dogs at all. It's uh, all fairly straight, so it's just a physical question of getting dog hairs out. Um, I'll run around the tyres then. So this is a uh, budget tyre on the back and it's practically new. I know there's new rear tyres on the back, they've spent the money on that, including a cam belt as well. The fronts are about half worn. It's virtually no stipping, stone chipping to the front leading edge of the bonnet and the alloys are fairly good as well. This tyre is probably the worst actually, uh, about a mil or to two mils off the wear bar and it's quite uh, worn on the outer edge. And this one's a relatively new one again there. So um, not a bad looking car really to be brutally honest and uh, still relatively new at a 55 registration. Okay, so what we'll do is we're going to have a look at the uh, service history and we'll come back to the car. Okay, welcome to the uh, documents and uh, history then for this uh, Renault Scenic. Uh, shows then as three owners, uh, two uh, lady owners since 2010. Car was registered on the 28th of the 10th, 2005. Shows as a Grand Scenic Dynamic VVT petrol car, 1598cc with 177 grams per kilometre. Uh, Colour is black and it's a metallic. And the last change of ownership was 2806 2012. There is just one key with this car, I'm afraid, uh, so you will need to get a spare if you need a spare. Uh, the MOT is November the 2nd, 2013. No advisory information on the MOT there, and that's just the gas test. Uh, and as you would have seen on the uh, description previously, the car's had quite a lot of money spent on it. We've got a few bills and receipts, but a lot of it was done sort of under the radar as it were and the cam belt and water pumps done in March 2013 the battery was changed in October 2012 a safety belt was replaced some rear brakes were done on June 2013 and as we can see they're all practically new on the back there two rear tires as well four coil packs on the um, engine uh, for the uh, spark plugs and one camshaft sensor and some drop links bottom apparently in 2013 that's just written out by the customer what they've spent but uh, on my examination of the car on the ramp, you can certainly see the new discs and pads on the back. Uh, the previous MOT was just a, a tyre wear, and that was a mileage of 60,790. And uh, that's just basically the original for there. Um, what else we've got? £159 for a safety belt and a clip. Um, so plenty of money spent. Uh, MOT, our status uh, is... November the 2nd, 2013. Now, it should pass its MOT. There's potentially a tyre that may need replacing, but uh, I can either do it with the remainder of that MOT or with a fresh ticket. 
Okay, back to the, the vehicle here. We've got three proper seats in the back, which all fold down and can be taken out. There's cubby holes. There's picnic tables. There's interior courtesy lights. Three inertia wheel belts. Isofix, and you can put three proper uh, Isofix chairs in the back of this, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, well, certainly two. I don't know about three, but certainly two uh, chairs can go in there. The centre one still got a proper belt. So, moving up to the front, we've got. Working air conditioning, electrical windows all around. It's only got one key card, I'm afraid. So, one key card. Let's just uh, start her up for you. So, she starts okay. Oil level okay. Uh, rev counter, fuel, ca uh, fuel gauge, odometer. That's blowing beautifully and cold. There is center armrest and captain's chairs type things here so you can are they ratcheted no they're not um, fingertip control hi-fi electric mirrors electric windows there all working fine and electric windows in the back all working fine we've checked all those out okay the electronic handbrake operates or right, switch down here pull it and press the button that releases your handbrake off and I'll just demonstrate that we can crawl forward Okay, so, and then to pull it back on, just pull it on, and it says brake, parking brake on. Um, on here it's showing about 67,000 miles as the total mileage. Uh, the previous couple spent quite a lot of money on it, although we don't have many bills, bills and receipts to prove it, but it's, uh, it has had the money spent on it, including a cam belt as well. Okay, so rear uh, front wiper, and there's the rear wiper on the back there. Is the rear washer working? It is indeed, so rear washer, wiper. Okay. So that air is lovely and cold. Is there a radio here? There's a radio. I don't know about multi-changer CD, but it's certainly got uh, lots of cubby holes and things in here. Reverse gear is fine, like so. And fingertip control, hi-fi. Yeah, it's operating on here. Like that. Yeah, there we go. So the radio works fine, and the interior is pretty tidy. It's just a few minor marks to the interior trim. Okay, we'll leave it like that, and uh, we'll await your call. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll speak to you soon. Bye bye. How is it? It's, it's, it's driving well. Two things. Yeah. 